Hi, I'm Adrian, and I'm here in the Tinker Space at the Imagination Station, and I'm here to talk about balance and stability. You know, you can balance just about anything. You may think that an object has to be symmetrical to balance, and you're kind of right. Finding the center of mass is finding the point where the mass of the object is equally distributed. If an object is symmetrical, the center of mass can be found by someplace in the center. But if it's not symmetrical, if there's a heavier weight on one side, you may have to look for the center of mass more to one side. Warning, we will freely interchange the terms center of mass and center of gravity. Here on the surface of the Earth, they're essentially the same. So here I have an evenly marked board that balances in the center because the mass is the same on both sides. If I were to add weight, the same weight at the same distance, it would still balance. But if I were to add the weight asymmetrically, I could still balance by putting half the weight twice as far from the center. Balancing things is actually pretty easy. The trick is balancing things in a stable way. If I get a little off with this, well, it tends to fall off. But if I lower the center of gravity, I can make something balance pretty easily. So, in order to make an object balance more stable, you need to lower the center of gravity. In this case, I have a bottle with just about a third of the way filled with water, and the center of mass is down here. When I tip this over, the center of mass brings it back to a stable point. This one, on the other hand, has a much higher center of mass. When I tip this over the same amount, it continues to fall because the center of mass has shifted beyond the base. Now there's lots of toys that you can buy that use this principle of stable balancing, such as the balancing eagle, which is, has a couple of weights in the wing that keep make this stable, that lower the center of gravity. This allows you to play in many ways, and the ego balances on its beak, but yet it's not connected, it just balances. Also, Circus Sam here balances on his head, he spins around, very stable. But you don't have to buy something at the store. The kits that you have received have a few corks and a few sticks, and they allow you to make balancing toys on your own. So in your kits, you got some corks and you'll also have some skewers. Now the skewers do have points on them, so use your best judgment. And if you need an adult to help you, please don't hesitate to ask. If you need to put a point on a skewer, a pencil sharpener is the best tool in the house. Here, we have a simple toy made with skewers and corks. It balances, it's very stable. You can even spin it on your fingertip, okay? But all these are equally spaced out. But do you need five? Do you need four? Maybe three. You could even do it with as few as two. Now the thing that makes this stable, the weight is balanced, but the weight is lower, bringing the center of mass someplace around here. And that's what makes this object stable and able to balance and twist. 
So you, can, you don't need to have a symmetrical object. This one has all different lengths and weights, but the center of mass is still somewhere below the point in the center. So now that you understand balance and stability, you don't have to just use plain corks and skewers. You can use corks and skewers, but many other things found commonly around your home. You're just decorating the object with things that you make. Here, I've made an airplane. I made a tower out of a solo cup and a medicine bottle. By finding the center of mass, I now have an airplane that flies around in circles. You can make it whatever your personality, whatever your like is. If you would prefer, you can have a beautiful butterfly flitting around. Oh, or you can combine the two by sticking one on top of the other Now my little fisherman here is made from a cork with a little foam hat and you see that his line goes underneath to the fish and the weight keeps him balanced and stable by being just directly underneath him. The idea of stability and center of mass play an important role in how our high wire cycle exhibit works. With or without a visitor, the center of mass of the high wire cycle is located well below the cable, thus making the exhibit stable. Even if the rider attempts to tilt the bike, it will return to the upright position. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and find more activities at imaginationstationtoledo.org. So that's it for today from the Imagination Station. Don't forget, get balanced and stay stable.